What's up, you guys? KD3 again. And you guys probably wouldn't believe that you would get one of these so fast. But on July 5th in game, I managed to max out all of my social stats. So I'm going to show you what the best methods are to raise your social stats because you're definitely going to need them, especially for academics in this game. As you can see, there are six ranks instead of five. I know a lot of you have never played Persona 3 before, so this may come off as a shock to you. But yes, there are six ranks for each stat, probably to compensate for there being three instead of five. And the main reason I think you guys are going to need this guy is mainly because academics, you need a lot of points to max academics compared to courage and charm like academics you need almost like three times the points somewhere in the 230s i think and then for for um courage and charm i think you need like 80 or something somewhere between 60 80 so let's get into it so first i'm going to start with courage because i think at the beginning of the game that's the most important one to level up first you need to get it to at least ordinary rank that way you can access club escapade so the best methods to rank courage so first we're gonna go to we're gonna go to um, the mall so you want to go to the arcade here this actually the arcade here a general rule for your social stats is unless it's knowledge because there's a there's actually a better method well I can't really say it's better because it's RNG, but for all your other social stats, if you have the money to spend, you want to bring it here. You want to bring it to the arcade. And if your if your game is available to play, you know, for your desired social stat, then then play that game. Do not hesitate. So, so for example, right now, um, this is the game for knowledge. It's called You're the Answer. And this is a really consistent way of increasing knowledge if you don't have 10k because there's a there's a better method for knowledge but for every other stat you want to come here you, you can come here for knowledge too if you don't trust the other method because like I said it can be RNG but arcade is perfectly fine for every stat if you've got the money um, you see in my top left corner I have 900k that's from the money an EXP farming guide that I dropped yesterday. So make sure you check that out. I'm also level 70. I'll tell you that that method works at all points of the game, you guys. Make sure you, you check out that guide if you wanna level up. All right, so the game you wanna play for Courage is called, I believe it's called Virtual Horror. That one gives you a ton of points. And then if you can't afford to go to the arcade, actually, I think, because not every game is 3k i think it's just you're the answer that's 3k so the other place you want to go if you don't want to do that is or if the game's not available you want to come you want to come here to port island station so you want to come to this movie theater right here so right now the movie is increasing academics but it also increases the other two stats you just got to show up on the right days but those are the main two methods you're going to want to use for courage oh and um in the evening in the evening if your game is not available you can go where's that so let's go to the mall so you can either come here wild duck burger this is what i did i just came to wild duck burger over and over again or or you could do karaoke in the mall but the two best the two best methods are arcade and movie theater there's also another way to increase courage without passing up time another thing you're going to want to do for courage this is something i always forget so don't don't beat yourself up if you forget because i always forget this too the nurse's office Every time you go to Tartarus, like the day after, you need to come to the nurse's office. The reason is, yeah, see, since I didn't go to Tartarus the night before, uh, I'm not tired enough for him to give me the drink 
that he gives to increase your courage. But if you visit him every night after Tartarus, then he'll give you a concoction that raises your courage without passing up time. So don't forget that, but don't beat yourself if you, up if you do, because I always forget to. So that covers courage. Actually, uh, first let, let's talk about uh, what you need courage for, you know, just so you're informed. So there are three social links that require some rank of courage. So for the tower arcana, which is Mutsatsu, you need ordinary rank courage because, you know, you, you need it to get in a club escapade where he's at. So you need rank two courage. So if you're new, I suggest getting your courage to rank two first and then focusing on knowledge, in my opinion. And I'll, I'll like I said, it's because it's a lot of points. You need tough rank courage to uh, hang out with Momoru, which is the star arcana. And you need to be a uh, badass, which is max, to start a social link with Fuka. All right, now let's move on to charm. Charm, uh, the social links that you need charm for are uh, Nozomi, the gourmet king. You need unpolished rank charm. Tanaka, you need smooth rank charm. And for Yukari, you need Charismatic, which is max. So, the best methods for Charm are pretty much uh, the exact same. So, when you go to the arcade, there's going to be a game called Print Club. Print Club lets you increase your Charm by a bunch. And like I said, go to the movies, like the general methods for increasing your social stats, like in an optimal way are pretty much the same across the board, going to the movies and going to the arcade. And then if you can't do that, uh, go to the, come on, let me see, let's go town map. Okay. So the strip mall, there's another place in the strip mall. Like, there's a place for each social stat here. So, you want to go to this place right here, Hagakure Ramen. If it's available. If it's not available, then try going to the arcade or the cinema. And if you can't do that, then you're stuck with probably drinking coffee uh, in the mall. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about, about Courage. There is another way to increase courage without passing the time. If you choose to sleep in class instead of staying awake, you get courage for that too. Sorry to just throw that in there, but it's probably because I never go to sleep. I always stay awake because of how many points you need in academics to max it out. Also, uh, answering a question correctly in class also gets you a uh, charm. So yeah, arcade, movies. Don't forget, that's a general rule. Arcade, movies. You can't do either of those, try to come to the ramen place. If you can't, go to the coffee place. All right, so last one is academics. And this is the one I think you should just go all in on after you get ranked two courage because of how many points it requires. Because you need like, like 200 something, I believe. So here, let me get some exact numbers. Okay, so for knowledge, you need to max knowledge, you need 230 points. To max charm, you need 100 points. And for, to max courage, you need 80. But yeah, you see that 230 points. That's a lot of points. How in the world are you going to get those points? The best methods to raise academics. Well, the first one, actually, uh, this one's expensive, by the way. So you're, you're really going to need a money guide. If you if you decide to do this, so oh and, and this is a this is a godlike method. So what I would do is you want to save here. The reason I'm not gonna save is because um I'm I've been streaming this game and this is a day ahead of where I left off in the stream. So I don't want to you know punish my chat for that just to make a video. So this place you can make a monetary offering. If you have the money, drop 10k. 
because that way you could potentially get uh, the most points from the shrine. But like I said, it I believe it's like random. It's not guaranteed that you get a bunch of points every time. Like you'll get a lot of points, but you're trying to get the most points if you drop this 10,000 yen. That's what I'm trying to say. If you don't get the most points possible, you'll know when the three notes fly over your head. So I think it's best to save before you make your offering. And then if you don't get the three musical notes, reload the save and then just go to the arcade or go to the movie theater if you can increase your knowledge from doing that if you can't then i could say you could just come to the shrine anyway and drop 1k that works or if you don't want to spend any money at all you can go to the school library yeah here it is right here i i never used the library i always just went to the arcade or the movies or i went to the shrine and there's even a place there's even a place in the strip mall where you can increase your academics it's over it's right by the ramen place actually yeah right here wakatsu kitchen yeah this place you can increase your uh, knowledge here and um so for the evening i know sometimes that the evening can be a problem or sometimes these places are too crowded to eat so if you want a way to raise your stats at night like a good one because the dorm activities, I'd say, aren't the best for raising your social stats because that's not their main purpose. But if you come to this cafe right here, they have a lot of software that you can get. One time use, by the way. You can take these and then you, you can bring them back to the dorm. And you can use the you can use the PC that's in the lounge. So let's let's go over to the dorm. Oh, also, staying awake in class increases your knowledge, by the way, but I'm sure you guys know that. Uh, I believe your knowledge is also somewhat tied to your test scores. But I actually, I forgot. The rank to ace each test, like the rank requirement to ace each test is based on like how early in the game it is. I keep forgetting. It's not just, oh, you don't have the highest knowledge, you fail. Because I was able to ace every test so far in my playthrough i had rank three knowledge when i did the first test and i was able to ace it so all right let's go inside so this is the computer right here in the evening time if you don't have any other good methods of raising your social stats like maybe your game at the arcade isn't available or whatever it is because you know it, it can be kind of frustrating to find good stuff to do in the evening for your stats but like I said, go to that net cafe, purchase that software, use this computer. You usually get a, a pretty big stat boost from running the software. And for knowledge, there's one other thing you can do in this dorm. So when it's almost test time, you'll see people here studying. Like I believe the week before exams, you'll see people here studying. Join that study session because you get the most amount of knowledge points joining those study sessions. I believe you get the same amount as when you drop 10K at the shrine. So do not miss the study sessions unless your knowledge stat is already maxed. But if it's not, hop in these study sessions because if you don't, you're missing out. Anyways, that's, that's everything. It's not as complex as Persona 5, I know. Because Persona 5, there's all types of different stuff you can do it, it's pretty simple like i said i'll even repeat myself general rule arcade movies you can't do that use one of the more specific methods that i mentioned in this video i hope this guide helped you guys out i will be streaming again today at 7 p.m pacific i'd stream earlier but the evo lineup's getting announced if you're a fighting game player you know what that is i know you know what it is i but yeah it's at five so I'm watching that, and then I'm streaming at 7. Anyways, see you guys later. Another one.